はいOh well. It was unlikely, like, yeah, that wasn't really a good spot, honestly. I don't think I made a poor move, I made kind of like the risky move, because I feel like if you set Petit Dragon, it's so likely to get destroyed by some kind of force, and it's at least the strongest fusion you can make quickly, so. Um, okay. I mean, it is what it is. This isn't really a good spot to be in, but... 
this is kind of a shitty spot to be in, but I, I really am top decking, and at least I have it where I'm, I know what I'm going to be able to draw into. So if anything can fuse into Milas, I'll probably go for it. Okay. So he's going to run into this trap regardless here. Okay, so I think Buku can make magical. Um, can make eh, whatever. Okay, I I don't know if I should do this, but I'll do it because I kind of don't like. Well, I'm I'm probably gonna regret what I'm doing here. We'll see what happens. Might be a little slow. But I will have a 2000 attacker, so I like that idea. So I'm not going to attack next turn um, with which... Oh, I'm dumb. I forgot I didn't have the synergy with Buku. That actually works out completely fine, though. That works out completely fine. I forgot that I didn't have synergy with Buku. I really forgot that. <laughs> so what is this? What is this card? That's fine. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. That worked out just fine. I'm glad I made this play. <laughs> I wasn't like, yo, Buku's gonna get weakened. Fuck. Because I don't think I've ever seen the situation where you have Buku as the thing that's attacking set cards, and then you have a boosted monster, a boosted shadow monster reveal, which I've never been in that situation. Um, so that's, that's just funny. I don't really regret my play at all. Um, this makes stuff. Yeah, it's not a, really a good fusion at all. But I don't think Frog and a Warrior make anything. Yeah, I'd rather. Yeah, I, I think I made a fine. Well, not not a very fine play, but it is what it is. Um, okay. I will chill with this frog. I don't really know what else I want to attack with, though. These are two really poor attackers. <sighs> I guess, yeah, I guess making dragon... Yeah, so, I do have kind of a rule for myself. I don't know if I've written it down, but I gladly make dragon statue with Petit, but I never make dragon statue. I very rarely make dra dragon statue with uh, Yamatano. But Yamatano really sucks as a card, regardless, against Tristan. So it is what it is. I don't think... I'm not going into Minamushi. That doesn't make any sense. 
I'd rather just attack with these guys. Chill out. So I have 2,000 damage on board with this, and I have 1,600 damage on board um, with those two. 23 if I want to attack with all three with Frog. I have 1,700 damage here. Um, and I'll just stick to that. So it's more attacks if I go the other way. This is kind of slow, but it is what it is. I'd rather have made Blackland turn 2 probably than Dragon Statue turn 1, but I made the play that I could. It is what it is. Okay, so Beast Do I have to No. This I'll I Okay, whatever. Beast what does that make? What does that make? I'm almost certain white dolphin and a beast to make something. But I know for a fact that um this makes something. Not a great fusion, but it is what it is. And then lead Mooka and uh, attack with these two makes sense. This is a lot of inputs. I really wish I recognized this sooner. So I have one more. See, this is definitely not a very fast Tristan, but it is what it is. I've gone second a lot too, which really blows. Going second really sucks pretty much ever, but um... What's this? This is mystical sand. And then these two can make a thing. That's what I'll do. Of course. Of course!
So this... I can make stone D, but it's likely that's not gonna live. Um, so I'd rather just do this. It's like, it's just so often against Mako. Um, so often against Mako. A rock won't really do anything. I got, actually, I could put Morphing Jar. That's, that's good. Well, I could have put Morphing Jar um, and attack, but I don't like doing that either. I want him to attack with something weak and lead out. But I have so many options with rocks. Like, Morphing Jar is still a good set because I can easily top into something that can get me somewhere. So. Let's see. It's a machine. Wow. <laughs> I don't think Frog and, uh, it's fine. I guess I'll just let's stick with, this is pretty slow, but I'll just stick with this, fuck it. Whatever. <laughs> this is really slow, but I mean, I just, I'm not gonna second guess, I'm just gonna stick with this. I guess making Stone D would have been cool, but it's like, again, depending entirely on Stone D would have, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, maybe I should have took that risk. But it's like, you go for the ideal Mako, but so many times he's gonna lead Serpent Marauder or like something dumb. I don't know. I didn't do shit here, but I guess I guess I really should assume I'm just not gonna do anything. Maybe that's the best way to play. Settle for that stone D. Awesome. Okay, that's fine. I think if I can draw something that can fuse with this zombie, I'll, I'll still fuse. That's a ton of damage if I can get there. Okay. This is already three monsters, so I think summoning something else would feel kind of extra. So I won't really worry about it. Okay, well. Um, I can just attack twice with Stone D. That's all I am for. I can still get, if he doesn't use an equip, I can still get over stuff with uh, just this uh, Fiend's hand. Oh, can I win here? 25, 38, I can almost certainly win. Actually. This is 23 plus 25, which is 48. So, I didn't even think I could win, but uh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. I wasn't thinking of, of winning there. I guess I was a misplay on my part. I was really lucky. Like, I, I would have definitely just attacked with Stone, D, and ended without thinking, oh, 23 is enough to get game. So, I need to... I, I'm definitely rusty. I need to think about the numbers more. Um, this isn't good. Uh, this isn't too good. Uh, hero might live things. Let's see, it could live things. Hmm, okay. So I have Hourglass, um, still. So I'm still in an okay spot. I just want to draw something. I can roll over sets and I'll be good. Okay, that's fine. Actually, yeah, I'll just use this as a beater. Yeah. I'll boost it. I don't want to. Oh, okay, fine. 
It might, it might, because I'm, if I, if I'm hourglass boosting, I might as well draw to see if I can, uh, let's use it this early map. Yes. Okay. This is a ton of damage, so this is gonna work out to some. This is gonna work out, I know it is. So 17 plus 26, 36 to 43. Um... I'll be all right. Twenty six fifty two. So I'll just I'll just depend on. Um, I'm all right. Okay, this is nothing. If I don't draw anything that confused, I'm gonna reset. This is literally nothing. I really need a dragon, I need a beast, I need something. <laughs> that was a really easy reset right there. Easiest reset you could ask for. Um, all right. Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh, I could have made Dark Elf. I'm so dumb. Oh, I could have made Dark Elf. Oh, I'm the dumbest. I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. I could have made Dark Elf. What are you doing, man? <laughs> I should have made Dark Elf. But I would have still, still been completely pissed off with that kind of opening. Like, stop, stop double equipping me now. Just let me play the game. Oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> oh, he just keeps drawing it. Oh, he opened everything this time. Okay. Can I just please open one of my big fish monsters, please? Yes! That's fine. <laughs> That's all I wanted. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I can just draw all my beaters. Go fuck yourself. I'm gonna assume one of these can um, protect this card right here. Yep. Okay, so I'll uh, go this way actually.
This is really good. Surprisingly, I don't know what else he could have. Um, I guess uh, maybe no amiibo works with most. It may not work with one of his equips. I guess this is still 39, so he's still completely fucked. Yeah, this is really good. These last two duels were really, really good, but having to reset multiple times and having at least one of those duels wasn't really all that fast at all. But this is going to look kind of awkward because this is kind of closer to my average Mako recently. A little over 11 because I had to reset a bunch of times. Fiend's Hand. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, Fiend's Hand. What do I do with the Fiend's Hand drop? I got to put that in. That's a really good card. Uh, Fiend's Hand, that's a really good card. Um, this is gonna test if, um, if he has Dark Hole. Abyss Flower at Esperoba. That's the soonest time I can put it in. That's interesting. Yeah, I guess I gotta go aggressive here. So I'm definitely gonna, uh, summon a third card. Actually, yeah, because what's more likely between Dark Hole and Flame Viper? Probably Flame Viper, so. No, I'll just do this. I'll just do this. Go real safe with it. Flame Viper is more likely than Dark Hole, so. So, Fiend's Hand for Abyss Flower, that's for, so it's Abyss Flower, okay. I guess that's that. So I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna have to think about that for Esperoba. Even though Fiend's Hand just seems like a really like card I'd, I'd kind of like to add. Um, I, don't have, I don't think I have any zeros, so it looks like Dark Person Light's gonna be coming in soon. Okay, I hate leading. Yeah, this is gonna be four. Uh, this is gonna just be four um, Jirai attacks. Yeah, I mean, I can just hope that I draw a trap, I guess. I'll, I'll discard just to hopefully get a trap.
Wow, this is a really bad hand. Uh, <laughs> I guess this could turn into something. This is not too good. Um, here, I'd rather just do this, honestly. Well, no, I could have. Yeah, so setting wicked would have made sense, but I'm avoiding dark hole here. Um, this doesn't make any fusions. I think if he destroys this magical ghost immediately and I don't draw anything that is good, I'll probably reset. Okay, this isn't really a good situation still, but... Okay, this isn't... I'm not fond of this at all. If I get Dark Hole, I'm not, I'm not pleased. I got, because I, I really need to kind of just go for it. I need to go for it. This is too slow. So I have 50 left, so that's not a good spot, but you know. That's a zero. That's good. The Black Luster Ritual. I think that's in the 600s. Okay. Um. Actually, yeah. Fuck it. I gotta take the chance. I got to. I wish I said Drill Bug, of course, but I gotta take the chance. If you dark holes in me, I just misplayed into it. Okay. Okay. That is what it is. Gotta go for it now. So that was Black Luster Ritual. Um, Black Luster Ritual is... What is Black Luster Ritual? Black Luster Ritual... I had a list of all the zero cards, but I, don't, I, don't, I can't find it here. What are those all zero cards? Black Luster Ritual. It's 670. Okay, it's 670. So I put that in for Joey. I think I have like. I was, oh no, I was, might have been 14. I might have 14 ones now, actually. Yeah, I think this is the last one right here. Okay. I think being soldier. Actually, yeah, I should set this to protect Dunamis. That makes a lot of sense. Dunamis can be destroyed at pretty much any point, so... This is gonna be 12. Oh, this is 14. It's better.
Oh, I forgot. I thought it was more. I thought it was like 12. I'm dumb. I could have just kept Arlen A by itself. But I guess, you know, making Bean Soldier here is fine, just because, um... You never know when Dunamis is gonna... Oh, that was fine. I made Celtic Guardian, which I don't regret, because you never know if Dunamis is gonna get destroyed. I just made kind of the, the slow but safe play, which was smart to do in, in this spot, I think. <sighs> this would have been a little bit better if I didn't have to put in a zero, but... You know. I didn't put it in a zero, that's like 44 flat, which isn't too bad given what Mako and Tristan were. So, okay. If I get Dark Hole, I'm not pleased. can absolutely happen, but I, I do not want it to happen. Two air marmots, okay. It's kind of dumb to play a trap here because I already have game. Um, I already have game if I so I have no real point to set a trap now. the first one, huh? I think that was the first one. Is that the first? I think that was the first one. Um, okay. But I'd rather attack with Hain Hain or Air Marmot. Uh, I mean, Morphing Jar. Probably Morphing Jar. I'd rather attack with Morphing Jar and get Hain Hain, honestly. Yep. This is a good number to be at, 32. I love this situation. Very clean. Nothing fuses here. Nothing fuses there. So I guess I can. This is probably. Yeah, this is enough. This is actually good with Milas's attack. Dark Hole. Oh, if he has Dark Hole. You're not a nice person if you have Dark Hole. Okay. This is a really shit card, but, you know. I'll just lead with 
this um this car. Um so what am I hoping for? I guess making Flower Wolf makes sense, but did he discard a card? Why did he discard a card? Um, this can't roll over much. So I can make. Hmm. I mean, it's there's a gain to it, I guess. There's a gain to it, kind of. <laughs> You're a nice person. <laughs> You're a nice person. Please don't have. Please don't have what you could have. Please don't have what you could have. Don't be our marmot. This shouldn't be our marmot. I don't think I need to, to worry about things. Okay. <laughs> that was scary. I'd rather not get dark hold and then fuse into something that can make Luca look good. <sighs> what the hell? This isn't good at all. I really badly want to draw into something that makes Luca look good, but Hourglass is sort of kind of bailing this all out, so. This is a card. He does like to, um... Was he gonna dark hole if I... You know what, fuck it. Fuck it, I don't care. He might dark hole once I hourglass boost anyways. Well, here, I don't know if he does. Well, actually. Um, here. I'll do this. I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this. I don't need the hourglass with this Dunamis here. Stick, this is the safest play, and probably fastest play too, so. It can only be two cards here. Actually, it can only be one card. Because Mountain War you would have led with, so. It'd be crazy if he has Mountain War and Landstar and Sojin, though. That, like, never fucking happens. <laughs> That'd be really crazy if this is what he, if that's what he opened. But we'll see in a sec. That's 41, so I should be able to win next turn if nothing terrible happens. Okay, that's fine. Went from 10 to 8. Interesting.
Please give me 600. Come on now. 600 can't be that difficult. 600 cannot be that difficult. Thank you. Thank you. That's just about 10. I'll take it. Um, okay, whatever. If you play a boosted uh, witch, that's amazing. So, was, this is for our wolf, huh? It was a pretty good, so... Uh, I don't really need to take a much of a chance. Uh, here. So... I'm not really liking the situation a whole lot. Um, I'd want one more beater. That'd be good. Whatever. Um, okay, whatever, get him attacking. You know what? Oh, oh come on, bro. That's not, that's not fun. So this is 39. I don't really need to attack. Unless she plays Witch's Apprentice right here. Okay. I'm okay. This is fine. If I lose this, I lose this. There's so many uh, lights she can play. I'd rather lose Clown Zombie early than uh, than uh, Armored. I'm gonna try to get the most damage I can if she just sets. Well. 
There we go. That's four, that's 13, so oh, oh. I made a decent play. This is a very straightforward uh, duel right here. Bean's hand is... I think it's 122, right? With some tripping. It's 135. So, regardless of this is whether I, I should set it or um, attack with it like I'm playing it, basically. The best way to do this is just to play your top decks as well as you can, so. There we go. Sadly, Morphing Jar is just a bit too weak in this spot, but it is what it is. Nope, I'm just gonna... I think I... Eh, yeah, you know what? I could have did that, actually. I wish I didn't has. I wish I didn't hesitate at all. I wish I was... Wait, no, let me, let me attack Morphing Jar anyways, but... There's... I can't think of a card besides Witch that I clash with. Um, there. So, it is what it is. So 135 Fiend Sand for Abyss Flower. After I, uh, beat my one more time. Okay, I mean, um... <sighs> I mean, this is a pretty easy reset if I don't draw the answer. This is not- <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> Why do I just get all this shit at the very end? So, just any force or acid trap hole. Fiend's Hand would have been, I would have kept it, kept up with Fiend's Hand too. Well, actually, no. Fiend's Hand or a Trap is super, super, super annoying because um, I have that zombie that's just so frail against my, so. Okay, I'd rather do this. Okay, don't double. So not the worst. Uh, I wish. I feel like Joey should have been faster. Was it just not going first enough? I feel like Joey should have been uh, closer to just 53 even than 54. Um, so Milas, Wretched, and the Abyss Flower for uh, and then 135.
Okay, ah, uh, this is not a good hand. This is not a good hand. Um, <laughs> this is not a good hand. <laughs> this is not a good hand. A boosted electric and I pretty much lose. <laughs> yeah, that's 11. I'll give this one more turn than I might need to. Oh, he's... See, Mega Cyber! Oh, no. What is this? Bolt Escargo is 14. Yes! Bolt Escargo. That's not a good... Uh, this isn't... This isn't... This isn't... No. No. I'm not... I'm not rolling with this. Come on, now. Come on, now. Give me another fiend. Fucking Christ. I've put so much time into this duel. <laughs> I've put so much time into this duel. It's super, super, super possible that he starts uh, going for Kappa now, which is not great. It's super, super, super possible. Okay, that's lucky for me. Um, I'd rather get... Great white going. <laughs> he's just playing top decks. Yeah, he's just playing top decks. So a lot of his top decks are pretty live here, sadly. Um, but at least this, this is I'm gonna win this most likely. I was mad if he ran Fiend Mega Cyber into Magician of Faith, I would have flipped. I would have been so happy, but, you know. Electric. No, nothing. Awesome. So, this is gonna put him at 1700, I guess. So, I just, anything really works. Uh, oh! I'm dumb. I, well, I, I'm dumb. So wait, so I was, th yeah, no, I, I, I didn't win with Catapult that turn regardless. So it is what it is. I made the right play, I think. That extra fiend's hand really <laughs> bailed me out. Abyss Flower wouldn't have done shit about a bolt escargo. So, uh, oh man, this is, this might not be good. Yes! <laughs> yes! Ugh. Revenge! Ugh. Come on, so Clown Zombie should be pretty good here. And then Hourglass is just gonna win me the game outright almost. Oh, how annoying. That's really annoying. <laughs> That's going to slow me down quite a bit. God damn. That's really annoying. But Hourglass is going to be able to roll over literally every set he has. So if I can draw another really good beater, it, it's fine. Come on, give me that 1800. That's all I want. Give me an 1800. That's not an 1800. There, there you go. I've won this pretty much now. There's no way I lose this now. Or, we'll can't win next turn. There's no way I can't win next turn now. I've got it. It's really annoying how I'm a little bit short on that second Mystical Sand attack, but, you know. Fucking Reflect Bounder. <laughs> Run right into it. Come on. Okay. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm so... I don't care. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. You piss me off. <laughs> you piss me off. This is what you get. 3100. <laughs> Double boosted, because I want to.
That was a good card. Gigaboon should be pretty decent coming up. I should have led with Neo, but it is what it is. It's super likely that he draws some kind of um, electric here. It's so likely that he draws some kind of electric, or he has it. It's so likely. If he sets, I'm going to be amazed. Well, that's out of Ikaboon range. Fucking Christ. Ugh, after you're already using a quip, that's really annoying. That's so unlikely that he... <laughs> That he does that. I don't regret my play at all. It's just really annoying. I went for the, the better play in my opinion. Wow. Uh, attacking with Neo is useless. I should I should have led Neo when I had the chance. Because now I can't. Oh yeah, there we go. That's oh that's good. That's that's good stuff right there. That's 14, 19. This is why you like your aquas, because aquas have a have a good out for the situation. There we go. This is why you don't want to get rid of your aquas, and this is partially why I like Great White, because I don't have to invest too much res too many resources into it. And if I set it and I get Blast Juggler turn one, that's great. That's the best way to to start is to set Great White. If you have it, set Great White, let him get destroyed, and then attack with it for 16. Great White's more than lived its usefulness if you can get that kind of play going. Um, I hope this is the last one, but a lot of these duels have gone by slowly. I really hope this is the last one. Um, there we go. They got 50 to make. 250. Alright. Please be it. Yeah, he's a little slow. God damn it. <laughs> this is probably going to end at 114, which is beyond slow. So, basically, um, it's not too much about with Seeker. You can't really expect to get like a, a... If I have a poor Seeker, this isn't much of a run, but... I know the slow points, so... Oh god. Uh, f -f -f -f. Okay, Lord of D... Lord of D. This is a pretty trash one. Um, if, he, if he sets into Fiend Mega Cyber, that's cool, but like, this isn't... This isn't great for me. Genzo. Cool, cool, cool. Just... Oh boy. Okay. That is Dark Elf. Um, hopefully, I can draw another beater. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get Dark Elf. Um, uh, actually, no. I'll use Lord of D to destroy sets and chill out then. This is 4250 now. So, all I need is to avoid Blast Juggler. Crossing my fingers to avoid Blast Juggler. Come on, please. Please, one turn. One turn. That's his top deck, so he can't have it, I don't think. 
So 14 is a pretty slow time out of Esperoba. I mean, that's, that's not too good, but you know. It is what it is. I, I really, what I wanted to do was um, de rust a little bit because it's been weeks since I've played and um, get through Seeker, ideally. Like, I think what I'll do is even if this is looking like a poor Seeker, I'll just play it out and see, you know. No, it's not. No, this is not starting well. I'll just play it out and then see what I could do to, to better play against Seeker later. So I think the most important thing with with this is to remember the, the play style. Um, and the play... Oh, so wait, what? You take out your second Abyss here and then take out Trobuck. Um, Okay, so I'll just boost Hourglass next turn because it's pretty guaranteed to uh, get me where I want to go. If I don't get uh, Raigeki, I'm going to do a fuck ton of damage, which is really cool. But we'll see. Could be anything. So that could be a second Kappa. Or well, anything that's not uh, better than Kappa. And unlike uh, tier one, you wouldn't like you want to get as much damage as you can against Seeker because he's a troll. So he's awful, absolutely awful. So <clears throat> mm. Since I have two fiends hands, I can definitely burn one of these really easily. Give me that anti ragaki Give it to me. Give it to me. Fuck. Um... I guess what I'm doing is saying don't top deck against me using both these fiends hands, but I have half his health down, so if I get Raigeki here, it's not a complete lost cause. Well, okay. I don't think I have another, uh, well, yeah, hoping for Jirai would be dumb, huh? Fuck it. Yeah, hoping for Jirai would be dumb. But, you know. Awesome, 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 awesome. It's the ideal right there. Awesome. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing here to play. 
Yeah, there's just nothing here to play. I guess I can hope for Hannibal. This is what I'm hoping for now. Nope. Second stone statue. Alright, so if I don't draw a beater, I can just reset out of this. Nope. I'm too slow with duel to really go for. Okay, this is fine. I don't care. I have a lot of answers for things in this kind of hand. <sighs> that's like the worst card I could have got. Um, honestly, that's one of the worst cards I could have got. Ito has a higher cost than Stone Statue. Um, so, we'll see what happens. That's a top deck, so... If anything is stone statue, it's probably this right here, so. Air Marmot. So he has nothing to fucking play. <laughs> he has absolutely nothing to play and he's completely top decking, so. We'll see what happens. He could have or he would have played Raigeki, because if he if he had it, I think. He may have literally four distinct pieces of Exodia. <laughs> that may be what he has, honestly. He may have four distinct pieces of Exodia. So he could be he could draw literally anything. <laughs> He's not playing any burn cards, he's not playing Raigekis. Um, he could have a tribute, but I, he could have four pieces of Victoria in his head. Which I almost want to happen now. I honestly, truthfully want him to have four pieces of Exodia. That'd be so good. That'd be so good if he has four pieces and nothing else. So 36 is the ideal that I want here. And I'm hoping that he doesn't top deck Raigeki like an asshole. Don't top deck Raigeki like a prick. Thank God. Thank God. Because I already had to reset, so. I think that was three or four. Is that four? I just had to reset, so. I just had to reset. I'm going to call that three. Dunamis. Dunamis is more expendable than uh, Sea Snake. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now, top decking is a thing. <laughs> Could easily top deck into something that ruins the situation, but let's hope for the best. He could easily, easily, easily set Stone Statue right here and now. Easily he could do that. Um, there we go! There we go! Look at those reads, though! Yes! Alright, now let's see. Fiends, hey, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Uh, so no Raigeki, please. You can draw a Stone Statue. No Raigeki, please. No Raigeki. Alright. I got one more, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm... Ooh. <laughs> I never anticipated to play <laughs> to Dragon Piper. <laughs> that's that's me. I never anticipate to, but it's alright. <laughs> I could have easily been Stone Statue, so I don't... I'm not... I don't really regret my play. So I got one more. Then reset. So this is... Again, this is likely going to be past 124. And 124 is a pretty shitty mark to have going into Rex. Like it's, you're not you're not going too fast if you're 124 into Rex. But it is what it is. Um, I'd rather play this card, I guess. There we go. I'll take it. He's drawing Guido a lot, oddly, which is crazy. I don't get three-headed Guido that often, so it's like, the fact that he's drawn this one card, like, three out of four duels is like, wild. Stone statue? Okay. Uh, I don't have a way to get out of this. 
This isn't too good of a situation for me. Cool, 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 cool. That's good. I'll take that all day. So if he doesn't draw um, cards, I'll be all right. Please don't draw cards. I'll take 125. And something that's kind of just like a practice for me, I'll, I'll take 125. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's not right, Geki, so I should be okay. It should be completely fine. That was a really okay seeker overall. I'll take you know, a sub 11 minute seeker. I mean, it's not ideal, but I'll, I'll take it because it's like, it can go so much worse than that. So. Um, I'd rather play this on attack mode. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take that. Wasteland can still be a complete prick, but I'll, I'll take the situation. I don't know, Ugh, I mean, Arabi would be really lame. I mean, there's a couple of things that's just like awful to see, but I mean, uh, I guess I'll be aggressive. This, I've kind of won now. <laughs> I'll glass will likely get rolled over, but I've kind of won now. Now I've, 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 I've kind of won just with Hourglass, so that's really pretty fortunate actually. So that's 36 with just Hourglass, that's annoying. Yeah. Well, hey. <laughs> um, hey. Uh, wind, wind. A, 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 A. Fiend's Hand's gonna be a good card. If I decide to keep going with this, Fiend's Hand's gonna do me well. Fiend's Hand's gonna be really fucking good if I, if I continue on with this one. That second Fiend's Hand's, oh, it's good. It's sexy. It's a really good card to get from, from Mako. Really, really good card to get. It's unlikely, yeah, this is not a good invisible wire play. Yeah, this isn't good. Sinkar, Sinsha, whatever, so that's 14. Clown Zombie should be good next turn. The fact that he uses equip on that thing is a pretty good relief. That's an interesting thing about this game, because Sinchar is such a high cost, but... So he, he's willing to play over some of his dinos, but... Some of his dinos have higher attack than Sinchar, and therefore um, would be more dangerous if he used equips on it, if they're on those kind of cards. So, you know, Sinchar is kind of a major card of his deck that kind of makes the, the, the AI play kind of wonky. Because, like, I wouldn't be surprised if this next card is stronger than Sinchar's. Oh well. He top deck well. Any, anyway, he top deck well. Um. Mm, okay, that works out.
Um, okay, this is fine. Okay, um, yeah, I'll go for the second beater. Yeah, as an answer for the T, it's okay. That's fine. Darn. Oh well. Try to go aggressive. So if this card isn't any good, Fiend's Hand should really, really help. I uh, can't. Yeah, I'll just do the same thing. I guess I just did. I think. I think. I feel like percentage-wise, it really isn't that stellar to do this kind of play. But it's like you're trying to get beaters on the board. It makes sense. Fucking Christ! He just keeps drawing me out. <laughs> oh well. Sixteen hundred, even. Uh, this doesn't really. Eh, chill. I'll chill. I'll chill. I'll uh, chill. Yeah, I don't. I don't disagree with my play. I'm trying to enable this trap, so it is what it is. Uh, let's see. I'd rather do this. I feel like if, um, this is 
here. This is what I'm gonna do. Uh, fine. I didn't expect to draw another beater. <laughs> I didn't expect to draw another beater, but it is what it is. That was a pretty decent Rex. Pretty decent. I didn't pay attention to see if there were any drop pyros for Mako, so if there were, I completely missed it. I have no clue if there are any other pyros I could have added. I've not been paying attention to that at all. Uh, start off with the win, technically. Because that's a pretty high cost one, so I'll take the chance and, uh, and lead Neo. Yep. It'd be pretty atypical of him to uh, lead the lead the win still, but he might go straight for it just to fuck with Neo, so. Um, okay. I feel like I have two other dead cards in this hand, so it is what it is. Okay, well... Well, I could draw something that's uh, stronger than Dark Fire, so... I'm not gonna immediately go to try to play it out. Um... Yeah, I mean... I'll protect Dark Fire. Why not? Actually... Ugh. Yeah, I'll see, I'll see, I'll see. This isn't a good situation. Um, Acid Trap Hole will protect things. Well, here. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'd rather tribute this Flame Viper. If I draw a beater, I think what I'll do is keep the Flame Viper set. Uh, but otherwise, I'll tribute and get Mas uh, Mystical Sand going. So I guess the only thing that would really troll me here is... Uh, It's 
So sadly, uh, I need to lead with Mystical Sand because Clown Zombie cannot at all be trusted while he has four us out. So I'm just gonna use this uh, Ikaboon just to clear the path because I don't know what I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna definitely need a, uh, to draw a decent card here. So. Judgment Hand. It makes sense to uh, Fiend's hand and then lead out, uh, lead out La Jin in my opinion. La Jin has a better chance to be good uh, now. I really just want to get these two uh, GI Gumo attacks in. All I want to do. At the top. Yeah, at the top. Please don't troll me. Thank you. That's good. Good. I like this one a lot. Please don't play Aqua Snake here. Thank you.
orphan jar. This. So, uh, what would I take out here instead of Abyss? Um, catapult. I don't take. I don't. I don't want to take out Fiend's hand. What, what, what the fuck do I take out? Um, probably. I'll take out Clown. Fuck it. I don't care. Clown over that. I think. Um, actually, fuck it. I'd rather have. Um, I'd rather have uh, Clown for these few duels. And then I'll add back Fiend's Hand uh, once I get to Tier 3. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. So yeah, I should... Mm, should add some note about Fiend's Hand here. Okay. Is this enough? Fucking Christ. <laughs> Is this enough? No. Uh, so I should have had some kind of note about what to ha what to do between Fiend's Hand and Clown. But yeah, I think Clown's better now, and then Fiend's Hand's better uh, for a tier or whatever. Okay, so. Um, oh, this is so annoying. This is so annoying. <laughs> this is so annoying. I'll lead Gemini Elf. Yeah, my whole hand was walled there. Because I really want to lead with Dark Elf, but it's like... Many... Like 1600, it just isn't a good enough standard once he plays Yami. So it's it's really rough after that. One of the, something's going to get destroyed probably here. Yep. So I gotta remember to put that Fiend's Hand in the second we get to tier 3. That's just an alteration of strats I need to make very, very clear. Okay, um, yeah, Dark Hole is the only thing that really fucks me here. Don't. Don't have Yami and Dark Hole, dude. Come on now. Don't have both Yami and Dark Hole. Don't have Yami and Dark Hole, please. <sighs> Motherfucker. Ugh, my god. <laughs> There's nothing I could have did there. There's literally nothing I could have done there. Like, cause he, cause Dollar Demise is at twenty eighty, so it's like there's literally nothing I could have done there. He, he just needed to not have Dark Hole. It's so fucking annoying. Now he's drawing completely dead. The Dark Hole is the last thing he could have played. It's so annoying. Ugh. Crap. So lame. Okay, I got it here. All right. I got a good, good duel everywhere else, but I, oh, I just want to win with Cocoon. <laughs> That's it. That's all I want to do is win with one card. If I can win with one card, I'm satisfied. Oh, you know what? Uh, Morphing Jar is a, a great card to take out for, um, for, uh, stuff. Like, you can use and take out Morphing Jar here, honestly. I'll, I'll make that, uh, change. I'll make that change. Um, I'll try it here, because you have Dark Hall back-to-back. -back. You're not a very kind person. So I'll, I'll try for it here. So I need to make sure to take out Morphing Jar, um, Morphing Jar for, uh, uh, 
Fiend's hand drop, I guess. There we go. I feel like I have two more. At 44, I almost certainly have two more. Uh, okay. Well, this isn't really a good, like, a great lead, but this isn't really a great lead, honestly. But all my traps are gonna definitely be live, which is nice. That's not good. The <laughs> trap still worked. Yes! Oh, that's not good. So, what, do I have another trap that, that's good here? Yes. So, let's actually work out. I gotta reset after this next Pandora. Mm, okay. I'd rather lose Dragon Zombie than do Amos, honestly. I mean, I really, it doesn't really matter. I'd rather just be aggressive with this kind of hint. So it doesn't really matter this coming turn if uh, Gemini Elf lives or not. Actually, I could probably just attack with like anything really. It doesn't really matter. I don't give a fuck. Like, the way my hand is, it doesn't matter. I just won't. I'm just not gonna worry about elements and shit.
No. Ugh. Oh, fuck it. No, I forgot. I thought I had, like, an 1800 beater or something. That... <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter, yeah. It doesn't matter. I overthought that for no reason. <laughs> So I want to take out uh, Ancient Jar. Actually, I already have Morphing Jar out of, out of the deck by now, huh? Yeah, I take Morphing Jar out regardless at this point. So I did need to make a choice, and the choice I made was um, Fiend's Hand, which is the correct choice. Um, uh, this isn't too good of a situation. Um, to draw our glass. This is a, a good situation, though. I like the situation better now. <laughs> uh, so, Fiend's Hand. Fiend's Hand's such a good card. Clown's probably the only card I could give up. Probably. There we go. Fuck you. He shouldn't have another one, but we'll see. He shouldn't have another Lodger. Okay, well, that can happen. Um, damn. Nothing I can do. You have your top deck to make this trap work. Actually, he can play the Wind Ryukushin too, but it's very unlikely. That's it's very unlikely that this trap does anything. So yeah, Clown's the only thing I can think of to take out at this point. In a way, in a way, I, I kind of like... Yeah, Fiend's Hand's almost definitely a better card than um, Trap Master. Um, so I guess... What I could do is make it where Trap Master is kind of a flex option. I could put in some kind of card. Like, I'd rather have Clown and, you know, and uh, some kind of. Oh, come on. Oh, I just. Oh. Uh, please don't. Okay. <laughs> this is a poor situation uh, that's now not a poor situation. Alright. <laughs> he very rarely sets Lodge in turn one, so it's. It makes, like, I've, for whatever reason, I've seen Ryuka Shin set turn one more often than, um. than Lodge in, so. This will work out for me. Grappler, he has his mind. So 35 is the goal. So 26, 41. I guess I got. 35 here. There we go. So no Lajin, please. It's on top. So no Sagi, please. He's so low, he could easily be at Sagi, actually. Okay, this could be Sagi. Okay. <laughs> I had to go for it, though. That was perfect. That was the perfect fight right there. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Has not happened enough in this run, though. <laughs> Perfect fight, though. But if this ends at 202, I'm not complaining. Um, I'm not complaining if I can get this at 202. So I was saying a lot. I'd rather have Clown and some drop than Trap Master and some drop, I guess. Um, he's not gonna. I think you should lead out uh, Darkfire here, right? We should probably lead out Darkfire here, huh? The Darkfire is very likely to get destroyed by something. Um, but he can also set Battle Ox or something, so... Ryukushin again? Okay, whatever. If you play two Ryukushins and then to Lajin, that's just disgusting. 
You're a nasty person if you play two Ryukushins into La Jin. You're a disgusting human being if you do that. Okay. So I think leading Blackland isn't really a, a good option. Okay, so it can destroy uh, most... Uh, just, I can run right into it and be really walled, actually, if I, if I get soggied. Um, I do not want to get soggy at all, so... There we go. Blackland's kind of a trip, but... It's... With, uh, Wretched and Yamatano don't serve any better use by themselves anyways, so it's like... Right. Like, I'd rather lead with uh, Blackland than, than Yamatano. If I don't get that top deck, then I have to kind of take that chance, and it is what it is. This is a top. Okay, well... I, I, I made a mistake. <laughs> but it is what it is. I made a mistake. But you know. I got one more, I believe. That's kind of a slower. Well, it went, it went alright. I think that, that uh, Cocoon Duel is helping me out a little bit. Um, I'll do, I'll do it again. Uh, I don't like any of these set, honestly. This is, yeah, this isn't gonna work out. This never works. He's not gonna lead La Jin. This never works out. This never ever works. So I'm, I'm kind of in a spot. Um, okay, that's pretty low. I'm surprised he summoned that, actually. Uh, I don't trust it. I don't trust it, I don't trust it, I don't trust it. Okay. I don't know what this is. Okay. Because he is top decking, which is good for me. Soggy walls me, but I, I can do something about it. But I'm not really too worried. Ancient Jar, Hourglass, Great White, and Clown. It sounds alright to me. Is before Ancient Jar, wow. Uh, Great White. Great White. I take out Great White as a part of the strats. And Clown Zombie. Okay, well, I mean, you can't you can't ask for more. This is that's how I like to start tier three. <laughs> that's how I like to start. Okay. Um, uh, this isn't really much of a, of a field to protect like that. Actually, uh, Darkfire is probably more viable than uh, than um, 
uh, Headhuntress. I was just looking at attack, but Darkfire is probably is a better card. Um, oh, I didn't be Rakeki Trapmaster. Okay, I mean, I was... Okay, this is a good anti Rakeki. I mean, he'd have to draw it again, but like... He'd have to draw it. This isn't... I don't think it's gonna happen. Uh, I think Change of Heart's more likely, actually. Okay, well... I kind of wanted to hold back that uh, anti rag Gekki, but you know, you never know. So he's just top decking now. So I really badly need to draw. Hopefully, he dead draws, and I draw into an eighteen hundred. That's what I really want to happen. Fuck. <sighs> um, I'm gonna hold. Ooh, crush card is a good card. Yeah, he may not draw into anything relevant. And Fiend Tank can generically get rid of anything. That was a good crush, I think, on my part. Um, I, I, I feel like he's not going to just set anything, but... Uh, Battle Ox are lower, he still loses if he doesn't do anything about Dark Elf, so... Oh, disgusting person. Thank God I have a Fiend, the second Fiend Tank, I swear to God. This second Fiend Tank is saving my ass right now. The Sucker Fiend's hand so fucking good. Like, so good. Like, Drop Fiend's hand is just like, boy. It just puts in so much work. <laughs> it was just so good. Like, it just, it's literally winning games by itself. Literally. Like, Drop Fiend's hand is excellent. I, Ryukushin Power is a pretty shitty drop, in my opinion, just because I'm not putting it in until High Shin. So, um, I don't really. I'm not really fucking with that. I'm not... I'm not vibing too much with this hand, but... I don't want to just reset anything that doesn't have much of a beater, so... Okay, uh... This isn't gonna work. <laughs> this isn't gonna work. Uh... I'll boost if that's literally my only play. This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. Oh. Uh, this is my only play. <laughs> this is my only play, so hey. Yes. Thank you, Darkfire. Darkfire is very good against Peace Seto and uh, Dark Knight, and that's about it. <laughs> it's not too great against much else. Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's a really bad one. <laughs> that's a really bad one. Ah, uh, okay, I mean, maybe he clashes. Maybe he clashes, come on. Clash into my cocoon. Yes! Oh, that's good! <laughs> no! <laughs> you fucker! Oh! Oh! I'm probably gonna lose. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna lose now. Oh, you motherfucker! Cocoon! Oh, my god. I feel like I'm gonna lose now. This is really bad. Oh. <laughs> Please don't, don't change a heart. Don't change a heart. Please, dude. Please, dude. Okay. Okay, he doesn't have he doesn't have wind, so. <sighs> Alright, so gladly, Change of Heart grabs Neo instead of Jirai here. So the only thing that really fucks me is uh, Megamorph or the third Raigeki. Okay. Wow, <laughs> Jirai in the middle of the game. Who am I, Dark Knight? <laughs> that was, oh, that was a heart attack. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> Ugh, that was awful. This game just fucks with your nerves, I swear. Um, Battle Axe makes the most sense to leave, but...
Okay. So I have Mechanical Chaser. I guess I have to use that now. If there anybody could use back-to-back -back logins, it's him. So I don't have much of a reason to um to uh to play Trap Master right here. Okay, so the anomalous had the higher cost, but it can still destroy uh, my stuff. Yeah, Kooten. Okay, I mean this this is a pretty decent um very decent trap master because he has to have some kind of answer and then he's got to play Raigeki or something to deal with his trap master. So. Okay, I'll, t I'll, t I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I, I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. Okay. You can play Ryukushin, but I'm, I don't want to run into Dark Hole. Oh no! I didn't want to do that. <laughs> okay, Rakeki. <laughs> I was gonna get dark cold. I was so certain I was gonna get dark cold. Uh, uh, you can play another, uh, another Ryukushin. Taking it. Not gonna complain. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Uh. I hate when you're just top decking, you're this deep into it, but it is what it is. I can take a couple of hits, actually. Um, so if I don't draw anything here, it is what it is. Uh, he can set into Rabbit Horseman. I don't want to hold on to this. This isn't good enough just to hold on to for no good reason. Rabbit Horseman! Okay. Alright. Um, I'd rather chill. This is a decent card to hold on to. Oh, I made a good play. I made a good play. So if I don't, if I don't draw a shadow, I'll just uh, crush all this up. Okay. So he has to draw into Lajin, or he. I mean, this could be Change of Heart, which is really, really devastating. Yeah, uh, Change of Heart is super, super devastating. Actually, Change of Heart pretty much wins him the game. Sadly enough. Wow. Oh no. Okay, I'm leading this Magician of Faith. Fuck it. I'm leading this Magician of Faith. I don't know what I'm going to draw. Um, two t I, don't, I don't see a second turn happening. Okay, 13. So I need another 450. Yes! GRI late games really coming through. <laughs> I don't depend on drawing GRI late game, but if you get it, awesome. <laughs> Just throw your hands up and, and have fun. I haven't lost a game yet, which is really nice. But I feel like saying that out loud is going to cause me to lose this game. Uh, I don't want. I want the out to lodge in over the out to his tributes. Um. Okay. Um. He didn't change a heart immediately. So he could have Raigeki... Do this, whatever. Fuck it, okay. And your Trap Master is usually the card you want to prioritize over anything else. So, he doesn't have Raigeki. He's completely top decking. Um, it doesn't make sense, in my opinion, to, uh, to go for... I'd rather just lose Trap Master, and I'll, I'll lead Dark Fire and Dark Elf and just protect both of them. Sadly, Dark Elf is a really high cost, so Change of Heart just wins it. Um, but we'll see. Okay. Good, 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 good. Wow! Ugh. Ugh. This, okay, I didn't see that coming. This is a poor situation all of a sudden. This is a poor situation all of a sudden. 
Yep. Grappler. I would have been mad if he Raigekied because he had another battle loss. Um, this is not a good situation for me. But I do have a lot of outs to things that he plays. So I can not I can technically slow play this, but this is not a good situation. Okay, Judgment. That's that's Lord D. Okay. I guess you should just protect your big stuff as much as you can. Because Dark Elf is way more useful than Dark Fire. <laughs> so I guess I should have just played that anti Raigeki and said, fuck it, Dark Elf is a really good card to protect. I should have just played that anti Raigeki. But I'm. Um, okay. This is a good card to hold on to. I guess uh, if I just dead draw, I'm gonna one for one Beast King. I don't want to wait for two cards. I'd rather just dead. I'd rather just draw a Beast King and get it off one for one. It should be a bad card. Tatsumi. So I have Flame Viper. This is not a good card to to use, but um, I'd rather use Beast King here over Fiend's Hand. I've not gotten change of heart at all, which is really surprising. I feel like I'm gonna get it pretty much right here. Dark hole, I'll take I'll take dark hole all day. I'll take dark hole all day. This is really not <laughs> this, this really isn't a safe situation at all. This really is not safe. Yep. I think I got one more. This is, these have not gone very smoothly, but it is what it is. So I have another Battle Ox, which is cool. And another Battle Ox is worth putting in, in my opinion. Um, yeah, that's a good card to put in, in my opinion. Uh, okay, well, that's a Trap Hole is a good card. Um, so I'll do that. There we go. Tribute. I'm. I'd rather keep. Uh, I'd rather keep wretched as is. Let's see what you got. It's. You can actually. be really could play a forest right here, but we'll see. That's a. That's a fiend. Um. Oh. I'll do this. Actually, I'd rather draw into dancing elf and make dark elf than think about boosting anything at all. You know what? I'm, I might as well uh, set uh, Wretched, and if he plays a third monster, I'll uh, I'll just play Wretched here, honestly, because I really want Blue Eyes. <laughs> Blue Eyes would be the fastest way this all goes. It really is. Just play Blue Eyes. There you go. Awesome. Now I'm going to get Dark Hold. Dark Hold. Cool. Fine. I'll take it. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Okay. So this mechanical chase star really wants to live this time, and not get taken away from me. Wow. <laughs> Just uh. Uh. Okay, yeah, in that spot, I'm probably checking your top deck first is smart. <laughs> so 16 minutes, not blazingly fast at all, kind of average on, on a run that should have a decent pacing, you know, I would say. You know, I, I, ideally, I'd be literally four or five minutes faster with tier two. So with that, uh, I would be like 214. Two, sub 215 is probably a good goal, and I would be fine with that. Um, all right, so... Oh, I have to put in last day of which. <laughs> I have to put in last day of which. Um, so nine. So 
So I usually put in two copies of Rubis Flower, but because um, because I have Battle Ox, I think it kind of changes what I want to have. Um, I don't know what I'm going to need. I really don't want this card in anymore. Um, I know I'm going to want to put in Wretched. And then one of these. I have 17 space, so I really do need to take out Armored or Clown Zombie. I mean, uh, Fiend's Hand, and I think Armored is less useful. I mean, I could take out Yamatano, um, but Yamatano... No, no, Yamatano is good for her Earth Monsters. So let's do this. Battle Axe is literally like 26 or something. Yeah. Do that. This is a really good hand. <laughs> this is a really good hand. <laughs> Light. Yes. Dude, don't immediately give me swords. Don't immediately give me swords. Okay. Um. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. It's not a bad card in this spot. Um, Majin's pretty solid. Good. Real good duel. Real, real good. This mystical sand really fucks me, but I went for it. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Megamorph really fucks me, period, honestly. With with the oh he would have needed to lead like a light. That's both. I didn't expect that to happen. Uh, Cause if she leads with like Okay, so that was risky. That was probably a little bit too risky, honestly. Uh, I'll be I'll be blunt because the thing the thing is you don't want to do that because so many bad things can happen uh, if you just open cocoon and you you're going second. If I went first and I led Dunamis and it destroyed something, and then Dunamis chilled, I could have just leaned on Dunamis and likely been okay. But um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I should have led Dynamis. Dynamis is a safer card. Safer card for sure. And I took a chance that was not beneficial enough. But it, you could also say that if this was like a run that was near record or something, you could say you need to take those chances in order to get the best possible time. Uh, but that wasn't a risk that really is going to work out very much. And it cost me resetting and stuff. So yeah, he's gonna set a light. Don't play swords. Oh, awesome. Okay, well there, there you go. I just need to use my top decks now. Okay, well. Amazon, so he's probably gonna uh, play some kind of trap. Oh, well, that was just a top deck, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, Fiend's hand's super good. Fiend's hand super good in this spot. Though, uh, uh, 
Mm. Now it's not so great. Um, do I want to put this? Do I have to top deck something? Okay, that was a Cosmo Queen. That's okay. I mean, I didn't have too much to to set there, so stop. It's okay. It's fine. It'd be interesting if I just drew last day. If I just drew last day, that'd be very interesting. If I just drew last day, that'd be interesting. Uh, crush card, I'll take it. Crush card's phenomenal in this spot. But you'll have to draw into Gemini Elf or some kind of bullshit. I'll take I'll take a one for one crush in this spot. Um, ugh. she'd have to draw into it, huh? I think I think Trap Mash is okay here, especially with this witch, because then I can boost both of them and they have somewhat decent attack afterwards. So, wow. Okay, well, she was gonna one card guard call me anyways. So, you know, Trap Master was irrelevant more than a detriment there. Uh, well. Okay. I don't know why I'm drawing Jirai literally, like, turn 8 every time. But I'll take it. I'll take it. Please. It's not too hard. Come on. <sighs> Fucking Christ. Let's do it. <sighs> Fucking Christ. Set a light. You set a light, please. Fucking kidding me. <laughs> this is not a good duel. <laughs> you fucking kidding me. <laughs> this is not good. Ugh, this is not good. I'll just end again. Megamorph. 2500 attack dark elf. This is not fun. This is not fun. Uh, yes! Okay, she might tribute this Dark Elf, you never know. Okay, I made a decent play there. Stopped, so, 1950. Yes! Yes! My favorite card in the deck! There we go! <laughs> yes, thank you! <laughs> Here we go, boys! Yeah! Favorite card in the deck! <laughs> um, I guess I'll just chill. I'll just use these traps to protect Mechanical Chaser. Okay, so... Um, okay, whatever. Mm. Yeah, okay, this is awkward. What is this card? Okay, I don't think this is gonna be super live, but whatever. She, oh, she's definitely gonna tribute. This bear trap isn't gonna do anything. Most obvious tribute she could have had. Um, I like a forest. A forest would be good. Um, this isn't. I guess I'll play this maybe. Um, if you double tribute, that's fine. Mm-hmm, Cosmo Queen. 
So this is not a great spot, but I, I have some... Okay. I'm, I was drawing for outs anyways. So if I have to get double sorted, it's not so bad. Okay. I really don't want to have to use shit. Uh, she's top decking now. I'm glad that came through on something like Mechanical Chaser, which really isn't that good. I really don't want to have to utilize resources. I'd rather just put this in defense and then take 29, actually, if I have to. Okay. Do I have another turn of sorts? Okay. That's fine. I'll just lead Crush and then attack with Jirai. Wow, she has to have Dark, dark Hole. She does, she definitely has our call. So basically what I'm hoping for is um, a number of uh, a number of uh, monsters. I really hope she just starts topping really weak monsters. If she draws anything but weak monsters, then um, I'm gonna get dark holded. Dark hold, yeah. I do not want to play Jirai Gumo. Jirai Gumo is gonna get hit by something. It's definitely gonna get hit by something, bro. It's definitely gonna get hit by stuff. Yep, 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 yep. I guess with this kind of dead drawing she's having, she could easily have the third copy. But I don't want to waste my time. So don't. I'd like you to not have three copies, but I think you do. Okay, whatever. It, the third copy could still hit right here. Binding. Okay, whatever. Don't be swords. Okay. Uh, what's the... Okay, I mean, she she's top decking still, so it's like Trapmaster isn't gonna be a bad much of a bad thing, I guess. There we go. That was really slow, because I keep getting a bunch of swords. I think I got another one, actually, which is really isn't any good. Yep. This is really fire from the record, honestly. So, so really, I'm fairly confident of my playstyle of Paradox and Ashizu. I mean, Paradox and Haishin. And there's, there's not much of a way this is going to record, I mean, honestly, so... I think I'm going to just uh, finish this for the sake of finishing it. Well, finishing a Shizu, and then just calling it quits, because it's like, 235 going into shit isn't really all that good, honestly. It really isn't, it really isn't uh, ideal at all. Um, I'd rather have Mechanical, I'd rather you draw Gemini or Dunamis and fuck up Mechanical Chaser than me, Jura, here. Yep, there we go. I think if she doesn't play any, oh, if she doesn't play anything, um, I have crush. Yeah, if she doesn't play anything. Um, I might just lead Fiend's hand. Fiend's hand seems good. Let's just do this. So she has the top deck for a crush card to feel like a good card. So if she doesn't play a top deck, then crush carding is beyond useless. But if she does top deck, then crush can be quite good. So let's let's hope for that. Play a top deck, but set it. Set. Yes. Ah, there we go. So two thirty four. I mean, really, it's not. Still not. Like 17, no, 16, roughly 16 minute Ashizu, and then, this isn't even, I only have four. This is really, yeah, those sword duels really added up. I only have four, I don't think that was six. 
Uh, Swords is really a bitch. So yeah, that's gonna happen. So on a good run, like if this was if I was four minutes fast, I'd still be like, yo, this is a Shizu just too slow. This is Shizu too slow. Oh, this isn't any good. This isn't a good hand, even a little bit. <laughs> this hand's pretty dookie, honestly. Mm-hmm. I'm completely top decking. I don't have any place with a hand like this. This is Dark Hole? This is Dark Elf? Nekelgul. Oh, that's really fortunate. So we're both completely top decking. Um, I have two Fiends hand. There's nothing really I can do here. Two Fiends hand. I'd, I'd rather just take my time and use both of those Fiends hand. Okay, let's go. So, no Dark Hole with Swords at the very last turn, please? You bitch! <laughs> you bitch! I'm gonna get Dark Hole, aren't I? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh well. I think I have a bunch of- I really wanna draw, like, beaters, so... Yeah, this that would have been really like I, if I was like fringe, like fringe on the record, I'd have been really annoyed. He's gonna tribute for sure, and then probably dark call me, maybe possibly. So, 1900, 1600. Ugh, this isn't good. <laughs> this isn't a good situation. So, if I was even four minutes faster. And this was going to run with some kind of pacing. I would have been like, yo, I didn't have a great piece set up. I had like an average-ish piece, piece set up. This Ashizu was ass, though. And this Ashizu was really ruining the run. And I'm really pissed off that I had an Ashizu like this. That's what I would be saying, um, theoretically. If this was a, a run on any kind of pacing. But yeah, this Ashizu was nearly 20 minutes. It's just not... It's 18 minute Ashizu. It's not... Not doing it. Not doing it for me. Too many swords. Uh, too many swords, but yeah, um, I've, I'm glad I played through this much of it. I haven't played th through this much of the game in quite a while. There's, there's things to learn, things to remind myself of. I'm not, I'm not really mad at all that this run only came this far. This, by the time, really, by, by at, really at Esperoba, I'm like, yo, this is just way too slow. Like, 11 minute Esperoba just isn't, it's not any good, and... 114 into Seeker is pretty trash, so by, by that point I knew it wasn't going to be anything, so this was mainly just practice and remembering things and testing things out and seeing things and, you know, thinking on the fly, and so there's a couple of things I think I, I can add to my strats and stuff and think about and keep in to the, into my, the cloud of, of my head, but yeah, I don't, this was a fine little practice, it is what it is.